Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pally's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be examining a fragrance from the house of Christian Dior. This fragrance is called Fahrenheit Absolute from 2009. This is a woody floral musk. So the original Fahrenheit came out in 1988. It was an eau de toilette, and that fragrance has been reformulated many, many times. This is a flanker of the original Fahrenheit, but this fragrance here, Fahrenheit Absolute, does not smell anything like the original Fahrenheit. So some of the other flankers of Fahrenheit that you should know about is there was Fahrenheit Aqua 2011, Zero Degree Fahrenheit 2003, 32 Fahrenheit 2007, Absolute 2009, Fahrenheit Cologne 2015, Le Parfum 2014, which is probably the best flanker, one called Summer 2006, one just called Summer, and Summer 2007. So I think there's around 10 flankers altogether of the original uh, Fahrenheit. So this flanker here, the most important thing is when you smell this fragrance, is to put the original Fahrenheit out of sight, out of mind. These do not smell at all alike. And if you try to compare them in that manner, you may end up disliking this fragrance. Just look at that, look at it as its own separate fragrance, its own entity. So I'm just going to give this a spray on the back of my wrist. So initially, you, you may try to convince yourself that you're getting some of the original Fahrenheit, but it's really not there. Uh, this is much more of a Middle Eastern style of perfumery, especially with the myrrh and the oud. It's much more spicy, has much more of an oriental feel. As it dries down, I was, you kind of wait for the violet note, that, that burning uh, gasoline leather from the original Fahrenheit, and it never arrives. And that's when you realize that these are two distinctly different fragrances. And I really do like this fragrance. I'm not saying it's bad. That's not what I'm saying. It's just completely different. It's spicy, it's warm, it's sweet and a little bit smoky. Several hours later, it becomes a little more powdery. You still get the oud, the sweet, the smoky spice. So it's much more of a linear fragrance than the original Fahrenheit. And it's this one is dark, it's resinous, it's much sweeter. And in my opinion, whenever they make a flanker of the original and they try to make it sweeter, I consider it always a step down. But this fragrance, I would say, definitely would have more mass appeal than the original Fahrenheit. It's definitely sexier, more opulent, and dressier. So the notes advertised for this fragrance, they only advertise four notes, incense, myrrh, violet, and oud. I just want to tell you a little bit about the um, note of myrrh, which is part of the resin balsam family. And it's one of the oldest notes in perfumery, and it has a balsamic, uh, myrrh has a balsamic, sweet, spicy uh, scent to it. And that's very prevalent in this fragrance. So again, if you try this fragrance, I don't think it's being made anymore. The bottles are fairly expensive online. You, as its own fragrance, I think it's excellent. I think it's a very, very good fragrance, great fragrance. But don't try to compare it to the original Fahrenheit because there's no resemblance at all. So you say, who could wear this? I would say anybody 21 and up. It is a more sophisticated, dressier fragrance. It's a, But I think fairly mature. It's not a clubbing fragrance. But I do think it's one for romantic encounters, that sort of thing. Longevity is good. Six to seven hours. Great projection and sillage, especially for the first two, three hours. And like I said, this is something that if you can get your hands on for a reasonably good price, I would definitely... Uh, buy it but if it's extremely high price I don't know if it's worth it and this fragrance actually does remind me of one of the Givenchy gentlemen uh, fragrances in that line I can't remember which one and but there is a similarity so this is um, a different take uh, uh, on the original Fahrenheit and it gone in a completely different modern more of a Middle Eastern direction straying from the the original Fahrenheit, which was more of a European style of perfumery, but I still love this fragrance. I th still think it's great and it's worth buying at a good price. 
So if you have any experiences with this fragrance or any other of the flankers in the Fahrenheit line, drop me a, a note down below and I'll always answer you back. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.